Want to leave your 9 to 5? The Freedom Fund lets you do that. But what is a Freedom Fund? A Freedom Fund is designed to work kind of like an emergency fund. But it's a little bit different because you can invest with it. It's got other options and other purposes. Here's how it works and the rules behind it. You must be out of debt before starting this fund. Debt increases the amount of money that you need every month significantly. If you are debt free, you have freed up the second most important wealth building tool that you have. And that is your income. You must have an emergency fund of three to six months worth of expenses built up. This is to keep your freedom fund accurate and profitable. We don't want anything derailing our plan just because it wasn't expected. Life happens and there should be something to pad the hits. Pad the hits. This fund is only to be used as a means to an end. Don't pay for a new car out of it unless it fits specific qualifications that are detailed later in the video. You must have a solid proof of concept for your business. We still need a way to make money. This can be a monetized YouTube channel, a lawn care business, anything that provides a service that you have the skills to do and you'll get paid for. And the income cannot be tied to an hourly rate. It must be only on the value that you provide. That's where you're gonna make the most money out of your time, is if you get paid for a result, not the time you took to make that result. The fund must grow every month. You can buy things with this account, but just make sure that the account balance is not lower than it started at the beginning of the month. We need to keep the momentum going. If you need to buy a new truck or something more expensive, you're going to need to save up for it in a different account. And remember, no debt. Don't buy anything that will not make you money in the future using this account. I bought a brand new PC that I custom built with my buddy. I bought SD cards, memory, all sorts of things, but everything I purchased has made my editing easier or faster or a higher quality picture. I also buy things like digital assets out of this account. These are all things that I can justify because they're gonna make me more money. And I have a three month emergency fund already. These are great examples of investments from this account. And to be clear, you are the investment. How does it work? There are six steps. You just need to have a separate bank account that's different from your checking and from your emergency fund. Once you have that set up, move on to step two. The amount is gonna be 10 to 12 months of living and operating expenses. Now this is not 10 to 12 months of income, only the bare minimum that you need to survive. This will give you a much better chance of success when you leave the nine to five. If you don't think that you can build up that amount of money, keep in mind, you are debt free at this point. But if you do want to feel a little bit more safe, there are other options. I'll detail that just a little bit later. For me, that's buying software or hardware to make videos for you guys. I want them to be as good quality as I can get. I count these as investments because they're going to make me more money in the future. This is based off of my skill sets that I will have gained and the knowledge. Once you've bought all the equipment that you need, the fund is at 10 to 12 months of expenses and you have a proof of concept you can leave your nine to five at any point that you feel is good. You're gonna bow out gracefully and you're gonna do it with confidence. 
keep in mind that you will have to be pushing hard for the next six to eight months as if your freedom depends on it. Because it does. Five to six are optional depending on your situation. If you want to have less money in the account before you leave your nine to five, a good option would be get a high paying part-time job. You're not working your nine to five anymore and you have more time freedom, but you also have the extra guaranteed income to have that extra padding you want. And I wouldn't have less than eight months of expenses though, just in case. Cause sometimes part-time jobs can be crazy and they'll just be like, eh, you get 10 hours this week. So we, we wanna be careful on that still. When you reach the point where spending time at the part-time job is no longer justifiable because the time you spend working on your investments is more worth it, you can start cutting back on hours. Unless you like that job and just want to stay for the fun of it, that's totally okay too. But make sure you get to choose your schedule. Once you're able to make more money, you can add more to this account. But at that point, it will have served its purpose. It's totally fine to leave it where it's at. It's more so just extra cushion and extra comfort, really. That's it. And if you choose not to do the part-time job, you're going to have to grind relentlessly because if you don't, you're probably gonna end up back where you started, frustrated, angry, and shackled to a job that does not care about your time. If you love investments, there is one that can generate 10 times the money. That's gonna be in this video. Go watch it next. <laughs>